of Italian America. My name is Tommy Patillo. I'm Lorenzo Crisci-Bana. On today's show, we're going to be talking to a gentleman by the name of Cha-Cha, who happens to own Cha-Cha's in Little Italy. We're going to be going to a wine tasting with our field correspondent, Guy Casale and Lorenzo. We're going to check out a brand new music video by the Bingo Brothers entitled Everything Italian. There's Enzo Bingo, Chuchi Bingo, Butchi Bingo, AC Bingo, and Little Billy Bingo. <laughs> and we'll also be taking a look at traditional Italian coffee shops. Uh, the first location will be the Lou Cafe in Nutley, New Jersey. And now we're going to check out Philomena Familia Fiore right in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. Here on Everything, Everything Italian. Italian. Uh, Lorenzo. We know that Italians are very passionate about their food, but when it comes Absolutely. to their coffee, they're very serious. It's, it's, that's the passion. The, the, the Italians grow up drinking espresso, uh, cappuccino, cappuccino. I mean, you know, they love their they coffee. They want it fast, they want it strong, and they want it good. So where do we go for Italian cafe? Well, if you're Italian not in cafe? Italy, New Jersey is usually the place, <laughs> right? We're here in Lyndhurst, New Jersey, on Stuyvesant Avenue, 242, and we're at the Cafe Mille Fiori. Mille Fiori. That's, what a beautiful name. That's a million flowers in Italian. A million flowers. We're going to go in and see a, a beautiful flower right now. Right, Philomena. absolutely. Philomena. Is her name? She's terrific. Come on in and enjoy Let's go out. Come on. Let's go have a cup of coffee with us. <laughs> Hello, Hi guys, Philomena. How are you? How do you do? It's a pleasure. Okay. We have the gentleman right here that... Uh, that you import this you from the You bring from Italy, from Rimini, near uh, Bologna. Ah, very nice. And your name is? Antonio Pantuzzi. Antonio, it's a Antonio. pleasure. Lorenzo Crescibene. Nice Crescibene. Nice Tommy Patillo. Nice it's an coffee. honor to meet you. We're going to taste your coffee for the first time. OK, I want to tell you something. This coffee comes from Rimini. Uh-huh. And uh, we give this coffee to the Vatican City. Is that right? In Roma. Wow. How about that? So uh, I bet you so it's a good cup of coffee. Very, very sweet. So even the Pope drinks this coffee. So the Vatican City, <laughs> all, the, all the big over there. So what do we do? We, we, we sip the coffee and then we sip the water. Oh, Is before that it? or after. Before right. or after. So that's okay. our Italian, that's our tradition. Mm, that's delicious. So Very that good. Delicious. Very nice, very nice. We care Excellent. about the coffee. Very small, com small business, small factory. Wow, that is, mm -hmm. that's we bring it the best. That is. So very isn't nice. that the best coffee you ever had? That's, that's the best. It's that's very nice. And here we are with some terrific food that Philomena serves at a restaurant, Milia Fiori. And you want to explain some of this stuff to... Okay, to we have the homemade arancino, which mm. is rice ball filled with uh, ground beef and peas. Wow. Then we have the basic focaccia, focaccia. which, you know, focaccia with uh, red tomato sauce and some fresh basil. We have buffalotto from Brindy, which is a wrap uh, with uh, buffalo mozzarella, cherry tomatoes and olives. And then we have a line of the desserts from Binti. We Beautiful. have chocolate mousse, we have torta della nonna, grandma's mm. cake, and then we have the cheesecakes with the raspberry, uh, New York cheesecake, and this is a banana ca uh, cake, and again the chocolate mousse. Wow. And then we have a uh, Yeah, this is one thing, this is one, yeah, this is, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, because a lot of people, you always hear they, they pronounce it two different ways, Fiadel or Spoyadel. It's uh, Spoyadel, specialty of uh, Naples. Right. So we, uh, we bake it fresh every morning, or in the, during the day if we run out, we, uh, we cook more. And then we have the croissant from Bindi, filled with uh, apricot cream, uh, uh, pastry cream, or uh, this is plain with nothing in it. Sometimes we fill it up with gelato. We also have a line of felce azzurra products, you know, the uh, shower gels and uh, talco, and uh, Leo Crema, we have a line of olivella, the products made with olive oil, which is the best for you guys today, for your skin. And so, you know, come in and try some things and uh, just to say hello, let us know who you are. 
If somebody wants to contact your store, what's the phone number here that they can call? Our phone number is 201-507-1036. Thank you so In much, Bocca Filomena. Uh, grazie, grazie. Max, thank, thank you so, you so much, much Filomena. Hey, Tom, Filomena was something else, wasn't oh, she's she? she's wonderful. Boy, she has such a spark and such a... <laughs> A, a, a vibrance a about real, her. A real passion for The coffee she does. was great. She gave us some food. And now we're going to go to uh, friends of yours. We're going to go to the Lou Cafe in Nutley, another traditional Italian coffee shop. And, uh, you know, if you want to get close to Italy, go to an Italian coffee shop. Now, in keeping with our look at authentic Italian coffee shops, Lorenzo, I brought you to a spot that I come to every single morning. Mm. I come here, I have my coffee. I relax a little bit before, loosen up before I got to sure, go to work, absolutely, you know? Absolutely, of course. We're here in Nutley, New Jersey, in, es in Essex County, and uh, we're at Lou Cafe. Lou Cafe. On Washington Avenue in Nutley. Y you were mentioning this to me, and you said, wasn't it the, uh, it's a family owned place, brothers or? Family owned, three brothers wow. Giuseppe, Giovanni, and Luca. And They're Luca. from Puglia, southern Italy. They're southern. great guys. Come on in. Come on, let's go. We'll go say hello. All right, go ahead. We're sitting uh, at, at the Lou Cafe in Nutley, New Jersey on Washington Avenue with the owners, Giuseppe and Giovanni. And of course, this is Lorenzo. Now, you never met these fellas, right? Man? No, I never. I, well, one time I, I met them, Tom. Yeah. yeah that was it. But yeah. uh, that was a little while back. You were here first in the United States, right? Yes. I came uh, by myself uh, for, uh, to try out for a couple of months. Uh -huh. Actually, I came uh, for a boxing career. A boxing career? Boxing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How about that, huh? They don't go to, and uh, I'm a waiter in uh, New York City. I knew them when they came here. Right. Didn't no English. No English. No English. Speak a word of English. Wow. And here they are today. They have their own oh, business. God After how many years are you in business here? Two years by for ourselves here. And in uh, in the U.S. is right, two right. years. We have a background uh, experience in uh, supermarket business uh, back in Italy, all three. And after we sell, we move. Uh, I mean, wow. mm -hmm. here. Yes. What we, is it about the uh, traditional in, uh, cafe? Traditional cafe, you go to the coffee shop, in bar they call it in Italy, and uh, you get a coffee. If it's a Saturday or Sunday, uh -huh. they talk about games, soccer right. game, right. uh, Lecce, Regina. It's a social event too. You know, every, all these every team, every, every event. Now this is basically a traditional Italian cafe in the sense that you have espresso, cappuccino, you have Croissant, American coffee, you have Italian, uh, Italian gelato. Gelatos, you got Italia, all the cakes in Italian the granita, cake, right, fresh right. every day. Right. They treat you like your family when you're here. So it's a good place to come. Washington Avenue, what's the address? 252 Washington Avenue. 252 Washington Avenue in Nutley, New Jersey in Essex County. So, uh, hey, if you're looking for a place to go, Italian traditional cafe, have a little soccer. Coffee, Nobody, you watch can't soccer. see that, but there's a great <laughs> soccer game up there right now. And we're watching. Hey. <laughs> come down to the Lou Cafe. Okay. No All right, fellas. Right. Thanks for Thank coming you. on Everything Italian, huh? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the Lou Cafe in Nutley, New Jersey. Uh, Giuseppe and Giovanni, what nice guys, huh? Warm, warm, warm people. I Absolutely. felt like I've known them forever. You know? They treat you like family when you go in there. You get a little slice of Italy when you go into a, you sure a traditional you Italian really coffee shop. But now... Now, we have a, a special new video out by the Bingo Brothers entitled Everything, Everything Italian. Italian. Italian, here, 
everything has some hugs and kisses over the whole me. My neighbors in my family jam in our backyard. Parties on the weekend all week. We work it hard. We work it hard. Playing and a crooning with all our might. We got the citronella candles so the bugs don't bite. Mama brings out coffee and a zip toast. Uncle Louie tries singing, but he's deaf as a post. Here, everything's Italian. Yeah, everything's Italian. Here, everything is real. As real as the moon in the sky. Here, everything's Italian. Yeah, yeah. Everything tastes fine. Big top peppers and the Easter pie. What a great video, uh, Lorenzo. I love it. A lot of fun. We're going to be featuring the Bingo Brothers on every show. Positive images. That's what the Bingo Brothers are about. Yeah. And now we're in Clifton with a special host, Guy Casal. We interviewed Cha Cha. He's got a brand new home style wine out called Grandpa Cha Cha's Home Style Wine that is just excellent. I think you're going to love it. Great. We're going to Shoppers Vineyard in Clifton, New Jersey. Hey, Guy. I know uh, you, you have a friend in here we should go visit right away. Uh, Cha Cha just came out with the, it's, it's, a, it's a home style wine. I know you heard about it, I've, I've had it. It's fantastic. It's the official wine of the Bingo Brothers. And I know he's good friends of yours. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Cha Cha? Cha Cha is a movie actor. He's been in such movies as Goodfellas. He's been in The Sopranos. He's also hosted his own radio show known as The Wise Guy Show, and I think that just went off the air. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But now Cha-Cha's getting into producing wines. I've known Cha-Cha for quite some time when he was promoting fights back in the 70s. Uh, I fought on a few of his cards back then. Uh, you could tell by this mug that, uh, you know, my nose <laughs> and all. Uh, so we're going to go inside and talk to Cha-Cha, and we're going to see uh, what he's up to and uh, what he's thinking about doing with uh, his company and his wines. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Cha-Cha, star of uh, The Wise Guy Show, starred on The Sopranos, and he's also co-host now on another radio show with uh, Joe Reynolds. Joey Reynolds Show. The Joey Reynolds Show. W O R Radio, 7, 10 a.m. And now Cha-Cha is uh, producing his own wines. Cha-Cha, maybe you'd like to tell us a little something about how you got started in this. Well, during the Feast of San Gennaro, I would take uh, some jug wine and throw it in a, uh, a five-gallon jug and throw in peaches, like my grandfather used to do. And then people would come and say, uh, could I have a glass of wine? I say, you want the Chianti or you want the homemade? <laughs> and they would all pick the homemade. And then after they would sip it, they would go, taste just like my grandfather's wine. Wow. So I decided that I got to give people their tradition, the ones that can't make wine anymore and want to remember their grandfather's wine. So I took my grandfather's recipe and I want to make his wine. 
Well, I'll tell you, this wine is really delicious. And I used to make my own wine also. And if this isn't as close to homemade. Uh, it's, it's absolutely great, it is. We've been, I've been, everybody that I know, I've been letting them try this stuff. Everybody loves it. It's just, it's fabulous. It's a great, great wine. People want to remember and they want nostalgia. And there are not too many people that follow the traditions. They want to do it, but they don't want to put the time into it. Right. So we eliminate all that for you. All you got to do is go in the liquor store, go on the internet here, and uh, buy a bottle of wine, and you could have your family Sunday dinner like you had with your grandfather. And you were saying before, where, where do the grapes come from? The Josh? grapes come from Puglia. It's the Negramaro and the Primitivo grape, which is the sister grapes of the Elegante and the uh, Zinfandel grape. The Elegante is a California grape. So we had to find the Italian version of them grapes because I didn't want to make the wine in California. Right, right, right. I wanted to make yeah, it. Yeah, you got to make it in, in the home country the, over there. In the motherland. In the motherland. That's right. <laughs> Cha Cha also has a cafe on Mulberry Street in El Boco. In Boca Al Lupo. Which means in the mouth of the wolf. And you could visit Cha Cha there and you could try some of his wine there. Are you allowed to? Right, uh, yeah. Uh, in all the years you were fighting, no, when you went into the ring, did you ever fight in Italy? No, I never have. See, you had a bad manager. <laughs> if I was your manager, you would have been fighting in Italy over there. <laughs> well, Cha Cha promoted a few fights that on the cards that I was on uh, back in the 70s, which is I'm giving away my age right now. Cha Cha was a young man at the time. I think he was only a couple of years older than me at that time. And uh, Cha Cha always put forth Italian-Americans, always did well for Italian-Americans, and he is a true Italian-American himself. Well, when you go to Italy and you go into the ring, before you get into the ring, they'll tell you in Boca al Lupo. Or you go on stage, they tell you in Boca al Lupo. Is that right? It means in the mouth of the wolf. It's a show business term for break a leg. Wow, never right? knew that. Nobody really? ever told you that? No, no, I never heard that one. Did you, did you have the bingo brothers ever no, hear it? <laughs> <laughs> they might know it, I don't. You have to try this wine. I, I'm not just saying it because we're doing like this interview with Cha Cha. It is that good. I mean, I love it. It's just a great, great wine. With anything they eat, I just, I think it's fantastic. Hey. And before, before the show's over, all these will be gone because I'm gonna drink them. <laughs> Come down to Mulberry Street to yeah. the Feast of San Gennaro. Yeah. I have a little sausage and peppers. And when's the date on that, Charles? Uh, September, it's the Thursday after Labor Day for 11 days. And uh, this wine goes great with pizza, pasta, sausage and peppers. Well, it's a typical jug wine that your grandparent or your Uncle Tony used to make. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna buy two of these bottles today because my daughter's graduating high school and I'm having a party for her tomorrow at my house and I'm gonna serve this. In Boca Lupo. Okay, thank See, but you. In, 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 if Cha Cha autographs, you can't open it. It's worth well, a lot more than so you gotta like, you gotta preserve that well, when you gotta buy I, three bottles well, now. Well, that's <laughs> great interview, Lorenzo. <laughs> Cha Cha's a great guy. He is a great guy. What a fun day. Got to hang out with Guy Casal. Uh, we showed me a couple of moves that we were <laughs> fighting in the parking lot a little bit. Then we went to hang out with John C. Garcia that owns Cha Cha's in Little Italy. Has a great home style wine out now. And then we thought the day was done. And then you got a call in. And yeah, we went to La Bella Ferrara's right across the street. And we talked to the owner, Frank Angeletti. What an Italian name that is. Beautiful huh? name. Musical, isn't it? Absolutely. We're here on Mulberry Street in Little Italy with owner of La Bella Ferrara, Frank Angeletti. Angeletti. I got that right, Frank? Right, perfetto. Frank oh. Angeletti. All right, Frankie. Frank has been in this location for how long, Frank? 40 years. Wow. 40 years on Mulberry Street, so I've, I guess you've seen a lot of the changes that have taken place here over the years. The place is the, 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 the first year that I came, uh -huh. up to now, I see when I came here, there was one black home to Italy. Just one block. One block. But there was Did a lot you know of, that? No, I didn't. Wow. But there was a lot of Italian people living in the block. A lot of Italian a lot of people. Italian people sure. Sure. 
pa ledali da leši te tinje se da kam je begala leda, ba leši tane tine. Right, 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 right. Sure. Frank, is is a lot of the same people that you knew from back then? Is everybody different? You like that has a place? No, all the owners of the restaurant, the coffee shop, the boutique, I know all of the people are the same. Right, right. Not changing. The owners are the same. You have to be one of the the oldest ones here. Forty years a long time. Forty years. Not everybody could be here like that. I know. Little Italy starts at Canal Street now. From Canal, Canal now to extend to Prince. Now, now to Prince. Okay. So that's what, about uh, five, 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 six, five, six blocks now? Mm -hmm. What's your paese? Where are you from in Italy? I come from Marsala, Sicilia, Provincia de Trapa. Ah, okay. Where, whereabouts would that be for somebody that didn't know it? North, in South? Close or? to Palermo. Hey, one other thing that uh, we have to bring up. We heard you're a fantastic singer. You might sing a little song for us that's later. Yeah, well, I, I, we'd want to hear it. Sing a, a beautiful song there we go. in Italian. Very good, very nice. We're going we're gonna to hear that in a little while. Now he's got the best uh, yeah. tiramisu and uh, look at these cannolis. The cannoli, cannoli huh? with our tradition based cannoli. Now the St. Gennaro Feast of course has always been a big attraction for Mulberry Sea, right? That's still still happening it's still here strong. in um, it's still strong. It's, it's what, the last two weeks in September two usually? Weeks. The show started September 10th to September 20th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one the big feast of the yeah. A lot of Italian people come here. I don't say like it used to be, uh -huh. but I still never got a lot of the tradition. From, from all over? Oh, yeah. All over the world, all sure. Over the country, all over the Five Bottom, all over the Philadelphia, Boston, right, right, Virginia, right. Washington. Sure, sure. Very nice, very nice. Well, uh, you know what? I think uh, maybe we'll yeah. go inside and hear a song. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm gonna, you ready? Song, I want to I wanna eat this first, but I want to be on camera when I eat. Hey, salute, <laughs> Frank. Chin, my friends, okay? Salute, salute. Chin. Salute, okay. Thank you. I'm with Frank inside his beautiful place here. It's a great cafe, La Bella Ferrara on Mulberry Street in Little Italy. And I'm just amazed, Frank, by all these pictures. I just noticed up here is Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro and Vinny Bella. Incredible. And show us uh, some of the other... Steve Sharifa. Yep, yep. Incredible. I mean, the, a lot of these people come in here oh, and yeah. have pastries, oh, yes. right? Steve Amazing. Do. What a place to be. Yeah, Danny DeVito and Chacha. Oh, yeah, from right across the street, Chacha. Uh, we got a couple other ones over I mean, here. Danny, Danny Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, this is incredible right here. Archie, wow. That, that's an unbelievable picture. Chuck Mangione. We can't show you everything because we don't have a lot of time, but this goes on and on and on and on. This is 40 years worth 40 of pictures. 40 years away that, yes, exactly. Unbelievable. And now we're going to let uh, Frank, he's going to sing a beautiful Italian song for us. What are you going to sing, Frank? What a beautiful song, song today, all the beautiful lady in the name of Angelina. Angelina. Come on, let's, uh, let's get set beautiful. up and do it. Angelina, no te lo detto prima, è grande l'emozione. No trovare parole stasera lo sbaglio. Compagna, dolcissima e sincera, ancora come allora, vent'anni sogolati e siamo ancora insieme. Angelina. Thank you, thank you for being on Everything in Italian. It's a real pleasure. Grazie, Thank you, Frank. Nice meeting you. God bless you. And you sing great. Really, it was great to meet you. Great pastries, too. Thank you very much. Ciao. Thank you, thank you. Ciao. La Bella Ferraris, my buddy Cheech. What a talented guy. He is talented. He had a great voice. He treated us fantastic. And that Tartufo was out of this uh, world. Now we're going to take you to the Jersey Shore, to the world famous surf club where the Dupree's oh, performed. Hey. Yes. You, you're the lead singer for the Dupree's. Yes, I am. I knew I recognized <laughs> you. A good friend of ours, John Lotti, who happens to be the past national president of Unico, was there, and Lorenzo did a really great interview with him. That's nice. Want to check it out? Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Lorenzo Crisciben, and we're backstage with John Lotti from LaGuardia Associates Entertainment. Uh, it's a, a Dupree's show that we're at tonight. We just happened to catch up with John. John, how you doing? Very Thanks good. Thanks for Very being good. here tonight. I know you're here Pleasure to catch to the show, but. Uh, yeah. 
since you're here, we figured, uh, you know, I just ask you, you know, what, what's your association with the Italian organization? Yeah, I'm, I'm a past national president of Unico National, which is the largest Italian-American service organization in the country. And uh, our goal is to really foster the positive aspect of our Italian heritage. Uh, you know, today's society, when everything becomes so homogenized, it's important that uh, our kids and our grandkids right. uh, carry on the tradition of the Italian, uh, Italian American heritage. That's why we're doing this show every day, to put a, the positive spin on a, an Italian heritage, because there's so much negativity. Throughout the country, uh, our biggest challenge is to fight the negative stereotype, and through the media, uh, the movies, uh, TV, etc. What we try to do in Unico is to give the positive aspect. We fund chairs of Italian studies Wonderful. at five major universities throughout wow. the country. This way the children and the kids, college kids, are able to learn about the heritage and then carry it on. So instead of fighting, Italians are not fighters. Right. We're not gonna pick it like other ethnic right. groups. Absolutely. So we have to try to take the positive and turn it into something that will carry on the, the tradition of our heritage. Right. And if people need to find out information about this, or wh wh how can they reach you? Or it's, it's very, if, if you want to find out information about Unico, you go to unico.org, and uh, it'll give you all the information. There are 133 chapters in 19 states, so it really carries it throughout the country. It's important because in the Midwest, sometimes the only thing they know about Italians is what they see on television, right, exactly. whether it be The Sopranos exactly, right. or something like I, that. I've been there and that's all they talk that's about. Right. And they that's want to know if that was true and did your father slap you in the back of the head at the dinner table? It, it's the pressures on our generation right. <laughs> so that the next generation can carry forward. We want to thank all our guests that came on the show today, right, Lorenzo? Yeah, we certainly do. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your expertise in what you do. It was really like a great show. We felt the warmth and the love from everyone. Everyday, hardworking people, proud to be Italian. And I know I'm proud to be I'm Italian. I'm proud to be Italian, too, let me tell you. So until next time, I'm Tommy Patillo. I'm Lorenzo Crisci-Benny with Everything, Everything Italian. Yeah, yeah. Everything's Italian. Yeah, everything Italian. Here, yeah. everything is cool. That's cool. We the capital. Here, yeah. everything Italian.